it do y'all welcome to a detailed six month update on my hair i'm just gonna show you everything that i've been doing for the past six months i can't even continue without saying thank you to everyone who entered my giveaway I did choose a winner. The winner is winning everything in this box. This is all the ingredients that I used to make my holy grail do grow mixture. So congrats to them. More giveaways to come. But I appreciate everyone who entered. I did a four and a half month update on my channel. And in that update, I put these braids in. And I told you I will not touch my hair. I will leave it alone until we got to the six month mark. Never in my life would I have thought that I would be on the internet taking out some six week old doo doo braids, but here we are. I would lie to y'all and tell y'all that I washed my hair while these braids was in my head, but I didn't. So my hair is disgusting right now. Step one, we got a pre poo. So let's take it back to three days ago when I made this mixture with a rosemary and clove oil mix it's technically only three ingredients you just need rosemary fresh rosemary cloves I used organic cloves and the oil of your choice start out with whatever oil your hair is comfortable with I used a mixture of olive oil and amla oil just because amla oil was referred to me by a lot of you so I wanted to give it a chance so I used both of those oils you can use whatever oil that your hair likes coconut oil I've seen grapeseed oil whatever works for you but this is just what I used I also put in a handful of cloves there's no wrong answer just put in whatever you see fit I just put enough so that I could feel like the oil would be infused with the cloves Last is rosemary. I used two stems of rosemary leaves. I washed them and I just added them to the mix. Next time I'm going to take them off of the stems, but this time I was just being lazy. I let this mix sit in the fridge and marinate for three days and get all juicy for me. And after three days, we are ready for that pre-poo. That jar stank when I popped it open. So now you're gonna strain the oil into a bottle. I use one of these coloring bottles so it has teeth at the top and the oil just comes out through the teeth. It's perfect so you can get it into your scalp and into your hair as needed. The oil is runny, not thick, so grab a towel and prepare for it to be just a little bit messy. Get that oil everywhere, deep into your scalp. Get it into the front, the back. Get your edges. That's the most important part. Get your edges, but get it deep into your scalp. As you can see, my hair is just a tangly mess, so which is why I'm pre-pooing. Pre-pooing is just a way for me to return moisture back to my hair. So returning the moisture will help it be a little stronger and it'll help it prevent breakage and then it'll just make it a little bit easier to detangle these dreadlocks off my head. I massaged my head until my hands cramped up. I did this for a good 10 minutes. I made sure I was stimulating my scalp, getting that blood flowing, working that product in there. I put it in there real good. I use an aluminum cap like this one. This one helps trap heat into your hair so you don't have to worry about sitting under a dryer or anything. And also that band that's around it is gold. It helps soak up any oils that might fall into your face or your neck. Love this thing. I took a nap and woke up three hours later, so my hair is highly hydrated right now. So I'm just washing the oil off right now and just drenching my hair in water before I wash it. Don't come for me, this shampoo is from the Dollar Tree, but this is very important. Usually in my last videos, I've been using a moisturizing shampoo. Now I'm using a clarifying shampoo. Clarifying strips your hair dry, okay? This is to get all that, just get your scalp clean because I have all that buildup in there. So my goal is to get my scalp squeaky, squeaky clean. And this clarifying shampoo is going to do just that. Yes, it's from Dollar Tree. <laughs> it don't have the best ingredients, but I was making do with what I had. So, but next time I am in the market for a good clarifying shampoo but as of right now that it did its job I washed twice and during my second wash I brought out the scalp brush so this brush is basically a hundred fingertips in one and it just helps to break down any buildup and just gets deep in there and just gently exfoliates your scalp so it'll take your wash day to a whole nother level 
Fun fact, my favorite part of wash day is deep conditioning. And I did a lot of research about which deep conditioner that I wanted to use and this one won. The reviews were amazing and I just wanted to try it for myself. The ingredients, just everything, just it stood out for me. So I'm using this to deep condition. While my hair is deep conditioning, I am going ahead and detangling it. The tangling was surprisingly way easier than I anticipated. I did get a snag every now and then, but this was a quick and easy detangle. It probably took five minutes. This is the amount of shedding I got from detangling. I was intimidated looking at how much it was, but now that I think about it, I guess that's not too bad of an amount, especially after going seven weeks of not doing my hair. The deep conditioner sat in my hair for an hour and then I washed it out. A tip that somebody gave me was to wash it out in the kitchen sink. Okay, don't don't judge, don't judge. So I washed it out in the kitchen sink and I did the inversion technique, meaning that your head is face down and you're massaging the deep conditioner out of your scalp. So I washed the deep conditioner out after an hour and now here we go. I'm just blow drying my hair away so that we can do this length check. This is as straight as my hair will get because I blow dry on a warm setting instead of hot just because I want to avoid any unnecessary heat damage. So this is as straight as it will get. So my hair is very strong. It's thick, which I didn't expect because I have naturally thin hair, but it's growing out thick and it's real, real healthy. The only thing I can say, I need a trim, like terribly. I need a trim so, so bad. But other than that, I'm liking my results so far. The length is, it's, it's, I think it's okay for six months. What do you think? I was bald headed, so not too bad at all. I broke out the measuring tape. It's time to measure. So I chose like three different spots and I just randomly measured to see how much, the, how much length I had. In all three spots, I'm at about three inches to three and a half inches. And three inches is a lot, okay? It's only been six months. I'm liking it. It's healthy growth minus the trim that I need, but... Three inches is a lot. <laughs> you know we can't do a length check without breaking out the length check shirt. So right now, same results. We're at about the three inch mark on the shirt. My goal when I get to the one year mark, I'm gonna get a suit press, but my goal is going to be to, if, if I'm touching my shoulders, I will be ecstatic. So, so far these are the results lengthwise. I wanted to do a comparison because sometimes you're looking at your hair every day and it's hard to see your results because you're looking at how far you have to go versus how far you've come. So I, whenever I do these link checks, it's even surprising to me just to see how much growth that has happened in such a short amount of time. Time for an edge check. So. Honestly, there is growth, but the growth is very slow, which I'm okay with. Um, some things that I did notice is hair is growing, but I do have specific spots that are very sparse where the hair does not grow, especially on my right side, your left side on the screen. So two things that I'm implementing in my journey. One, I'm introducing micro needling. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. I want to come to you guys with results versus me just showing you guys a micro needle and telling you that I'm going to do it. I've already purchased it. I just need to use it, but I'm scared of needles, but I'm gonna try to combat that fear. So I'm gonna introduce micro needling. And then number two, you guys saw that I'm implementing rosemary oil in my wash days for a pre-poo, but I want to implement rosemary water in my daily routine. So three things that I'm gonna do with my edges, one, micro needling, two, rosemary water, and three, I'm gonna continue to use that do grow. So hopefully that will change things. So now I'm gonna be adding moisture to it. I'm not just adding do grow every two to three days. I'm gonna be massaging my scalp every day. And then the micro needling, that's completely new to me. I'm still doing research on it, but I'm gonna do that for two months or so and then come back with results. People do ask me about going to a dermatologist. 
I, my first year, I want to be the only person that takes care of my hair, just the only person to touch it. And then after a year, I'll go to the dermatologist for shots or whatever they recommend. And after that, we'll see. The last option is a transplant, but the, I, I'm going to take care of my hair and do everything that I need to do to make it grow. That will be a complete last resort. <laughs> I'm gonna be styling my hair with perm rods. I'm nervous, okay? Cause little do you guys know, I've tried to style my hair so many times in the past and obviously I don't make it far and I end up just plopping on a wig. Cause I've tried, I've tried, but I just, I don't know why I cannot do my natural hair. I parted out my hair into a, a section. I, I started off good. Remember I told you guys I need a trim? So yeah, I decided to try to give myself my own trim and look at me, just goofy. It's just cut completely wrong. So after, <laughs> after I did one, I put the scissors away. It took me so long to finally get the hang of things where I wasn't redoing the same rod six times, but after I got the hang of things, it only took me two hours to finish the rest of my hair. <laughs> Sleeping in these things is no joke. Like, my neck, my whole body hurts. I wasn't sure if I did these right, so I was so proud of my little grandma curl. I was just happy to see a curl in general, honestly. After I took the rods out, I wasn't sure what I was looking at, so I decided to try to style this somehow. These are wig combs, and I decided to just use it on my part so it could be a little bit more defined. And then after I put the combs in, I just started going ham on the twisties and just separating them little by little, just so it could be more defined and you don't have to see these parts. This was the epitome of trust the process. I just kept separating those curls. Even when I separated them, I separated them a little bit more and then I picked at my roots just to give it some more volume. I used a mixture of edge control and got to be just to try to lay my edges. It ended up turning white on me, so I don't know what I did wrong, but this is what I used to attempt to lay these edges. This is it and I'm proud to say after six months I feel like I can finally do a little something to my natural hair. I'm proud of the results. We literally started from a bald head to this in six months time. So I am so happy. Thank you for all your advice and all the products that you guys recommended. I couldn't do this without you. I took my phone out so y'all can get a close up of the curls and how it's sitting. I am in love, like I really do like this. I'm feeling a way more comfortable in my skin, way more confident in my natural hair. I'm going to end this video by saying thank you you guys so much sincerely from the bottom of my heart while i am editing this video i made it to 10,000 subscribers and i don't even know how to feel a year ago to this exact date i had seven subscribers i cannot even i don't even know how to express my thanks to you guys thank you for following me on this journey this is only the beginning congratulations to the giveaway winner stay tuned because i have so much more in mind for this channel so 
Thank you guys for everything. Sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you.